right, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Gas, Grown and Sexy. And now, as y'all know, I've been messing around in the kitchen with the Power Quick Pot Pro. Uh, it was a gift, and I've been rocking with it ever since in 2019. So, welcome to another edition. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today, what I'm gonna be cooking up is some vegetables. It's gonna be real quick and easy. Uh, I'll be using some zucchini, some squash, and some carrots for the day. Uh, later on in the week, I might come back and do another video, add some more vegetables to it to make it like a big mixture of some stuff like that. So, real simple, quick ingredients. All you need is some olive oil and some, I don't know, some Parmesan. Some people like to put on it, but that's after the fact. I'm not going to be adding that into the pot itself. Well, basically, I'm going to add some olive oil to the base of it. Well, actually, no, I'm not even going to do that because we're just going to be cooking with water today. So, I don't need to coat the bottom layer of the uh, Instant Pot Power Quick Pot pot. So it ain't gonna stick to it. So I'm just gonna dump the water in there, put the veggies on top of my little trusty little veggie tray, let that thing cook for a couple of minutes because you don't want it to get too mushy. Because one thing a lot of people don't understand is when they're cooking with these power quick pots and these instant pots and these pressure cookers all out there floating around, is that as it's bringing up the pressure, it's still cooking. You know, that thing's coming up the pressure, there's a lot of stuff that's happening inside of it. So you don't want to overcook this where it can come out to be a mush. So I'm gonna chop all that stuff up. Toss it into the tray, add some water, put the lid, and it's a done deal. And I'll start the, uh, I'm going to start the video right back once I finish chopping up my vegetables. Just to save some time on the film. All right? Be right back. All right, so welcome back. As you can see, I've already chopped up the vegetables and separated them on my little top chopping board here. And I've washed them off thoroughly, so that's a key thing. Make sure you clean off all your food and your vegetables before you cook it. Just to rinse everything after it came off through the process and stuff like that. From the grocery store, people touching all on it and stuff. So, you don't want to bring them germs on with you. So, now, basically all I'm going to do is add those ingredients to the Instapot. Cook it. Do the taste test. And we're done. And before we get going, just want to give a shout out to Dad Expression. That's our sponsors, DadExpression.com. All the links are in the description. Also, follow my channel so you'll know when I'm getting more, putting out more videos. You never know what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just trying these things as I go along to see how it comes up. So if you subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. If they subscribe as well, they'll know when things dropping out videos and stuff like that. So you can check out. You can be the first ones to know about it. All right. So let's go. I'm going to open up the pot here. And I'm going to add a cup of water. With my little trusty little measuring cup that comes with the Power Quick Pot. You probably have one as well or something similar to it. All we need is one cup and you can use the rest of the drink. Ah, you always got to have water. It's key ingredient there. Cook with it and live by it. So now i got my vegetable tray. I'm going to take my little, got a chance to use my big Jason knife too. So that's always fun when we chop things up. Anyway, let's put that to the side. Get my cooking tray out here. And I'm going to just take all my vegetables. Just store them in a tray here. They're going to touch each other, so if you if, if you kind of finicky about hey your vegetables and your food touching, you might want to use some other type of thing or cook it once at one one at a time. But I don't care. It's all going in the same place. So hey, I just let it go and stack them all on top of each other. So that's the zucchini, that's the squash, and the last one is the carrots. And like I say, a lot of people make. Uh, mistakes on putting this thing on 10 minutes, 15 minutes and stuff and it comes out mush and I've done that as well I've put corn on that high as well and it just came out real soft, I really don't like that texture or that taste so I'm going to start cooking my vegetables if I can separately from my meats so that's that add your little trivet, it's all nice and pretty and colorful, even the handle is colorful, so hey we drop this in a pot, let it go, and walk away. So that goes into the pot. It's got the little legs on it as well, so it's not going to be sitting directly in the water. So I'm going to drop this on in the pot. Put your little handle down on it. And if you want, you can season it. But I'm trying to watch all that, watch all that seasoning stuff that I put into my system to control my levels and stuff. So I don't season my, my food that much. If they do, I stay away from the sauce and stuff like that. So, I'm going to put the lid on top of this thing here. Hit pressure on it. It's on 30 minutes right now. We know we don't want to cook that for 30 minutes. So, I'm going to hit the button to select custom again. And I'm going to hit timer. 
And I'm going to crank it all the way down to three minutes. That's all I want. Three minutes. And we'll see how it comes out in a few minutes. It's going to do its process, build up the pressure. And like I say, as it's building up, that thing is steaming these vegetables already. So you're getting more than three minutes of cooking time. So if you want a little uh, sturdier, you can put it on two minutes. If you want a little more softer, go to four minutes. Don't go over five minutes or it's just going to come out like a mush. So let, let it do its thing. I'm going to come back, start the video, let it do a quick release on it. And then we're going to do the taste test. Be right back. All right. So welcome back. Process is just about complete now. You hear chiming. So that means that cooking process is done. It's going to kick over into a warming process after I uh, let all the pressure out of it. And I'll do that, walk away, and then we'll come back and we'll open the lid and see what we have on the inside. Give it a taste test, and that's a wrap. You can go about your day or your night, have a good time, a good evening. Try this with somebody who's maybe like health conscious and everything. They're like the spring is coming, so you know everybody trying to get in shape. You know, vegetables is the way to go. Lean meats and vegetables and stuff like that. Cut your mid sections down. Your love handles and all that good stuff. So I'm going to do that quick release on this. And we're going to see what we have in a couple of minutes. And be right back. And then we'll go from there. All right. So welcome back. All of the pressure is released out of the pot now, and it's time to reveal what's on the inside and see if we overcooked it or undercooked it or was it just right. So I'm going to take the lid off, and we're going to go from there, all right? So take the lid off. I don't want that water to drip back into the pot so it won't mess your kitchen up. And what do we have here? I don't want to burn my hand because even though it's made of plastic and not metal, that thing is still probably hot. That handle, so actually, I'm just gonna grab it at such, bring it on out of the pot, place it on our little plate here, and there you have it. It's still colorful. You got your yellow squash, your green zucchini, and your your carrots. And if you want to add other things such as like onions or who knows, man, it just I'm going to do bell peppers and red peppers as well to show you how to cook that without making it turn to mush. Uh, probably within the next few days or so, but it looks good. Only thing you need from here, man, is just season it to your choice. You can put a little olive oil on it if you want to. Just kind of like sprinkle just a little olive oil on a little zucchini and a squash. You know, you just add a little parmesan or something like that. Or well, whatever seasoning that you want to it. To add to it, it's vegetables. A lot of people kind of feel like this shirt when they're eating vegetables. They just don't want to mess with it and deal with it. They just prefer to eat meat, but you can't eat meat all the time. So you got to mix it up with your veggies. And I'm going to grab me a fork and we're going to do a taste test. And then that'll be at the end of the show. So, welcome back, and let's see what we have here. I'm going to taste the zucchini, and as you can see, it's not mushy and soft. It still has its texture, good form. It's good. You know, you can't really go wrong. Same thing with the squash. It's not mushy. It still has its texture on it. Firm it. Mmm. It's hot, but good. And finally, the carrots. Still sturdy, cooked, and there you have it. So, that's it. I have some meat already prepared that I'm going to eat with this, so this is going to be perfect. You know, I have so much of it, I can take portions to lunch, you know, have a healthy lunch, vegetables and some lean meats with water, things of that nature like that, some fruits and vegetables, fruit, you already got the vegetables, and man, just healthy eating, get ready for the spring, slim down, and stop being one of these guys when it comes to vegetables. It's good, it's tasty. You can play around with it, add it to the correct, you know, the, add it to some good meat that's healthy, lean, that's not fat, and it's gonna stay in your system too long, and you're good to go. So appreciate you watching my show. Again, this was just cooking vegetables here. As you can see, everything came out, you can spin it around. It's not mushy, came out perfect. Three minutes, and the, the PowerQuick Pot Pro. 
you're good to go. Really nothing to clean up. So dump that out. Just rinse it out. And that's it. So click the links in the description. Check out the uh, sponsors apparel line and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back again with more videos to come. So hey, hang in there. If you want to see me cook something else, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And we're good to go. Cooking with gas. That's another episode. We're out of here. And see you next time.